I use a sprite quite a lot in my videos to make these silly little pixel animations. And sometimes these things talk. Hello, everybody. But if you're familiar with the software, you might be a little confused as to how I achieved this effect. I mean, Aceprite doesn't even have an audio track yet. One of the devs said that it's planned. Dude, that post is five years old. I wouldn't hold your breath for official sound support. Instead, you can come along with me and we're gonna go and uh, tie do the tutorial. So the first step is not in Aceprite at all, actually. You're gonna wanna open up your video editor of choice. Premiere, Resolve, Vegas, HitFilm, whatever, they all pretty much do the same thing. I'll be using Premiere because I have no morals. Drag whatever audio you'd like to lip sync to into your timeline and set up the frame rate of your project. I make my animations at 24 FPS because it's just sort of the standard, I guess, but if you plan to animate at a different frame rate, then be sure to have that expressed here. Do this first so you won't possess fear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we're going to add a clip as a placeholder and adjust it to whatever selection of the audio you'd like to lip sync to. Then we're going to get the time code effect and put it on our placeholder. Now, this is a pretty basic effect, so a variation of it should be available in most editing softwares. To be honest, I'd be surprised if whatever you're using doesn't have some type of timer. In the effect controls, we wanted to display the frames from our clip, and I like to turn off this little oval because, I don't know, it just looks ugly. So now we have this frame count that correlates to the position in our audio. Awesome, let's finally move to Acebrite. And we're almost to the animating part, I promise, but we first have to set up the frame right here to match what we just did in the editor. Select all the frames currently in our project, I just have one so far. Go up here to frame properties, and we need to set it to the frame rate we decided earlier. Now, Aceprite is weird and measures things in milliseconds for some reason, so we have to figure out how many milliseconds are in a frame. For me, it's 24 FPS. So every one second, there's 24 frames, and there's 1,000 milliseconds in one second, so 42. And if you can't remember unit conversions from middle school, then you could um, just look it up on Google. Okay, and now we finally get to start drawing. You lip sync just like how you would in any other program. Listen to what type of sound is playing on each frame and try to match it the best you can on the mouth. And if you're not used to lip syncing, if you haven't done it before, then I would strongly recommend looking up a mouth shape chart and then just looking at that the whole time. And when you think that you're done, you're gonna export as a PNG sequence and then import into Premiere. Now we need to set the frame rate of this clip to be our desired thing, so 24. Okay, now you can check your work for all the weird mistakes you've made. And unless you're like really, really good at this, then there will be a lot of weird mistakes. We'll just return to Acebrite to fix whatever, re-export in the same location, and then it should update in the editor automatically. And then I like to rinse and repeat that over and over again obsessively for hours. And with that, we are all done. We can just go ahead and export it like we would with any other video. And uh, here's my final project. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. <laughs> I hope this tutorial helped everybody. Um, I know that it definitely would have helped me whenever I was first starting out because I did it such a weird way. Like, I, I don't know how... It was... I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, so I guess that's it for the video. Um, bye. Bye.